Welcome back, folks. So let's play Command and Conquer, the GDI campaign. Building. When last we left off, there are a few things that we need to do, and unfortunately, I lost all of the beginning footage of this video, which is being re-recorded right now as I speak. But what did I do at the beginning, I hear you ask? Well, I mostly blew up harvesters, because these harvesters are extremely deadly and dangerous. While I was also building some uh, engineers for our APC here, so that we can send the APC to destroy absolutely all of their base. They have two harvesters, however, so you need to be very, very prompt with uh, obliterating their uh, harvesters as quickly as you can. Also, there's a technician who seems to be very, very intent on uh, destroying our base, and the uh, Tiberian to the south of our base has run out. So we're going to send our harvesters up to this field here. Let's see how this technician does, shall we? Valiantly he charged forth to go and obliterate my base. How successful was he? Well, not very whatsoever. But hey, he tried. And that's all that matters, right? No, that's not all that matters. He got absolutely obliterated. And here comes a flame tank to come and uh, destroy our forces, or at least try to. The key word here is try to, and the tank is most certainly a distraction because we want to actually blow up this harvester. Once they run out of harvesters, then we can quite comfortably take care of everything else that they choose to send of us. Hello, Mr. Flame Tank. Ah, also I need to fix that up because that most certainly needs fixing. Right, we're going to uh, destroy this very quickly because I think there's a second one, and we need to be very careful with our timing. Very careful, because if even one of them gets away, that's a lot of money that they're going to get back. They're just going to be able to instantly replenish absolutely everything that they've been uh, slowly being starved of by me attacking. Also, we need to be very, very careful, because that is uh, most certainly going to uh, go round to the other Tiberium field. Which is uh, good for us, because that Tiberium field is much, much closer to our forces. And if it's closer to our forces, then we can quite safely destroy that harvester without any real trouble. I think we most certainly are going to have to uh, repair this tank, though, before it gets absolutely destroyed, and send this harvester to its doom with our orcas. There we go. We want to get that fixed up as soon as possible. And now we have a full um, APC of engineers, which is very, very important. Also, that harvester had no idea what was happening, and that's absolutely fine. Let's go and find that flame tank that's over there, shall we? Because there most certainly is one, and it needs to be dealt with. We also need to build some medium tanks, because we need to send them over to destroy Samsites as soon as we possibly can. All right, one medium tank might not be enough. We might need another. Fortunately, we have a few more lying around, but I, ah, there is that flame tank. I cannot guarantee, however, that um, I'll be able to leave the uh, ending of this little snippet at exactly the same point as the other one. Also, they have another harvester. We need to stop that right now because that uh, could be a problem. If even a single piece of that Tiberium gets into their um, refinery, that is doomed for our entire strategy. And there is another harvester there. Fortunately, we should be able to uh, quite comfortably deal with uh, everything that's uh, being thrown at us. All right, we'll send these tanks up here to go and deal with that, um, with that SAM site over there. And we'll send our orcas to go and obliterate that harvester. There can't be that many of them left, I don't think. There's only a couple. There we go. Not all of those hit, so we're going to have to be very, very careful. Oh no, that was fine. We managed to obliterate them quite handily. So if we're very careful with our positioning here, we can destroy that SAM site without any real problems, but there is another attack coming our way. It's quite a nasty one too. Let's go and soften that up, shall we? few of our uh, orcas here should be able to obliterate them, and we can uh, keep sending them back if they still have rockets, which will uh, make things a lot easier for us. But we're not quite yet done here. What we need to do is we need to... Where are you going? I think I know where you're going. You're heading up there to go and obliterate that tank. That is not going to work, because we're going to send those tanks over to obliterate you. There we go. That is one minigunner dealt with, yes, and another. And when we come back, 
He'll return back to past me as we're just about to attack this flame tank here. So I'll catch you in just a moment. See you then. And we have returned. And that flame tank will never return because it has been defeated. And with that flame tank out of the way, we're going to start building some um, more medium tanks, I think. We're in a pretty strong situation. And once we start obliterating all of these um, SAM sites, we won't need to worry about any attacks coming our way from uh, those missiles. And we can quite safely begin uh, obliterating everything that uh, Nod has here. We don't have to obliterate everything that Nod has here, but it's probably good that we do so. All right, seven tanks are probably sufficient. Also, we probably want to uh, get this APC ready to go. And there is one single uh, minigunner that really picked a bad fight. A really bad fight. If we start attacking this, yep, they'll indeed sell it. Because uh, they're running out of money. Quite badly. Quite badly indeed. And I think, yep, that's probably a final, um, it probably is a final, um, yep, a final harvester. We want to obliterate that as quickly as we can. Also, they're sending all of their units because we sent the, um, the medium tanks to go and blow that up instead of anything yes, else. They don't have many yes, units, sir. however, which is a good thing because uh, we don't want them to have many units to come yes, after us. There probably are a few more than we think, though. What we want to do is we want to uh, find out... Um, basically, we want to find out where the uh, obelisk is, and I think the way to do that is to... Uh, yeah, to do that. Once that has been sold, we can now see where the Obelisk of Light is. And now that we know that, we can uh, basically destroy it using the Orcas. By using the Orcas in a direct attack, we can force um, Nod to sell it to earn money for a um, airstrip. But, um, or not an airstrip rather, a uh, harvester built on the airstrip. I was thinking about the airstrip there because we're actually going to go and blow up the airstrip next. Because without the airstrip, they won't be able to uh, replenish their supplies of uh, harvesters. And that is the end of the... Um, that is the end of their Obelisk of Light. And with the Obelisk of Light gone, we don't need to worry about anything anymore. They're going to send a few units. It's not really going to matter. We're going to build another silo just so that um, we don't run out of uh, capacity for more money while we're obliterating their base. We want to probably focus on what's going on here, though. Also, that is uh, the end of our uh, APC. It got destroyed. Not the best, but then again, also not the worst whatsoever. The one thing yes, that will never get sold, though, are the SAM sites. They never sell the SAM sites, which is something to uh, consider. They never sell them. Bye-bye, Mr. Technician. You did last quite a while. We'll uh, destroy this, and uh, yep, they will then sell that, which is not so bad. The uh, tanks are not very good at dealing with their uh, inventory here, which is not so great. But if we start attacking one at a time, we should be able to... Uh, actually, the next thing we should blow up is indeed that uh, SAM site that um, is in that corner. Is there one in there? I don't know if there is, but um, we might have nearly destroyed that. They appear to be uh, reluctant to sell that, though. That is uh, one set of units dead, and I think now it is time to just move the tanks in. And with the tanks being moved in, we can then start uh, taking over their various structures. Like that. And we can take that over. Oh, we can't take that over because apparently we lost it. We'll sell that, which is not bad. And then we'll move over into there and sell this. And now the airstrike is ready, and that's important. They, however, have lost access to pretty much anything that they wanted to uh, build, which is quite good. To get rid of that, and there we go. We pretty much won now. If we start sending the uh, airstrikes to uh, blow up various power plants, it's all just a bit of a formality now, though. There we are. You can destroy that, and uh, we don't actually need to destroy their base whatsoever. All we need to do is get over here. Reinforcements have arrived. There we are. One successful uh, extraction in progress. Also, to note, um, there may have been a SAM site there that would have blown it up, which yeah, is important. Okay. But they're moving down there, and there wasn't a single SAM there. site that way. Not a single to... one. But hey! Mission accomplished. Excellent.
mission accomplished! And not bad either on the um, leadership score there. What about the units destroyed? 26 as opposed to a lot more on the side of Nod. 141. We didn't actually blow up that many buildings because um, we didn't need to. I think it counts the turrets as buildings though. Alright, let's go to the map and see what else we can do. I imagine things are most certainly going the way of GDI right now. Yup, they most certainly are. What about Nod? Not going their way whatsoever. I think now we want to go and uh, head this way to Albania. Let's go. GDI funded research shows the following incidents of Tiberium related illnesses. Respiratory ailments. Reproductive ailments. Immune system ailments. Tiberium related deaths. Spores emitted by Tiberium infected plants appear to be a source of Tiberium related illnesses. The world scientific community is focusing its research on this deadly spore. Tiberium is a new life form. Quite simply put, it seems to be adapting the Earth's terrain, foliage, and environment to suit its own alien nature. If this is the case, ladies and gentlemen, we are facing a killer beyond that of our most turbulent nightmares. It is not an exaggeration to state that the future of the entire planet may be in jeopardy. May God have mercy on our souls. Sorry to interrupt your briefing, Commander, but we need your help now. Kane discovered we were hiding Mobius, and he's throwing everything at us but the kitchen sink. It's up to you to mobilize a strike force. Acquire Mobius and rendezvous with the rescue choppers. Mobius may be crazy, but he holds the key to this Tiberium riddle. Good luck. And they are not kidding when they say that this mission is going to be quite difficult, because we have a base that has most certainly seen better days right here. We want to repair everything that we can, sell this because there's no reason to hold on to this right now, and build as many medium tanks as we possibly can. We need to get uh, Mobius out of here, and here comes a helicopter to do just that, and it is gone. It is gone because um, we need to get rid of all of these SAM sites. That is pretty much our objective in this mission. Also, Mobius here has unique dialogue and is completely unarmed and if he gets so much as hurt, he will die horribly. We want to get rid of all of the SAM sites and there are a lot of SAM sites here. We want to get rid of uh, all the ones surrounding us including that one there. We also want to get rid of uh, a few that are quite a distance away, while keeping this base moderately well defended. We could probably do this with all of these uh, tanks we have here, but it's not just going to be tanks that the enemy are going to send out against us. They're also going to be sending out an awful lot of uh, infantry units. There are a few of the um, SAM sites by the Nod base. If you're very careful with your movements around the base, you don't have to actually attack any of their um, structures or the base itself, as all the SAM sites are outside the base itself. Also, there are some rocket troopers, and we need to be very, very careful with making sure that none of our tanks get destroyed. None of them at all. So we're going to be using all of the uh, things we have to our advantage. We're going to be using the Mammoth Tank, we're going to be using all of our um, repair facilities, and we're going to be uh, making sure that we don't lose anything if we can avoid it. And the first step to that is by using all of our uh, defenses. We have a single advanced guard tower, which is quite handy. And I think we want to leave uh, one of these quite close to our base, so that if we need to, we can very quickly just rush over and uh, destroy it if need be. We have no capability of uh, building any vehicles, or any extra buildings rather. We can't build orcas, so we can't take advantage of that. You can technically make this mission into a, uh, a more conventional mission by um, 
taking over some of their uh, facilities, if you're able to uh, find and take over their... Uh, oh, careful, careful. Repairing a tank is far better in this mission than uh, building a new one. Because you need to be very economical with everything that you have, including your tanks. We're going to be leaving the Mammoth tank here because uh, we most certainly want to make sure that the Mammoth tank uh, is there to defend our base. We're pretty much going to have to see how we can do with the tanks that we have right now. And this is going to be a little bit dangerous. And by a little bit dangerous, I mean exceptionally dangerous. But... What else can we do? We can't build anything except um, the medium tanks, APCs, and RVs, and we're just going to have to hope that what we have here will be sufficient. I think I know the location of uh, where all the SAM sites are. There are two in um, their base, or rather around the base. There's also uh, one in a corner up here that we're going to have to go and find. And hopefully we're not going to uh, lose any of our units while we're doing so. We're going to have to occasionally peek over here and see if we can uh, find anything in particular along the way. That is definitely the location of where their base is over there. And I imagine somewhere around here is going to be a SAM site that we're going to have to deal with. They are building a lot of units. A lot of units indeed. Hello, Mr. Artillery. We're going to destroy you and move over here as I imagine their base is pretty much right over there. One medium tank is the SAM site up here as I remember it being. It might be heavily guarded. It might be heavily guarded. Ah, there's a turret there. We need to destroy that turret as soon as we can, and uh, hopefully we won't lose any of them. There we go. That is another SAM site dealt with. I hope there isn't a SAM site over there that we need to deal with, but we've dealt with uh, that attack quite handily. The missile launcher here is uh, quite good at dealing with any uh, infantry that comes our way. All right, we need to very carefully get these tanks out of here. And I mean very carefully, because we don't want to lose any of them. We want to make our way very carefully, I think, over here. And that minigunner may be trying to... Nope, they're not trying to attack any of our units, which is uh, very handy. I think if we're very, very careful, and I mean very careful, we can find another one of their SAM sites. Let's see if we can find that SAM site. It's somewhere over... Ah, there it is. See that there? Oh, it just got blown up. It just got blown up. If we're very careful, maybe we can blow it up from here? Maybe? Yes, we can. If we're very, very careful. And I mean very careful. Oh, that may get attacked. No, it did not. I think that's enough to blow up uh, everything that... Um, or rather that sand site. Hopefully you're not going to go this way and attack everything. Well, you appear quite content to just stay there, so we're going to blow you up. There we go. That's pretty handily going to deal with everything there, because uh, they can't handle all of that firepower at the entrance. They seem quite intent on... Uh, the missile launcher being there appears to be helping us quite a lot, because it's uh, preventing them from uh, sending too many forces up. However, all these flame troopers, I'm really not going to like dealing with right now. We need to be very, very careful. And I mean very careful. We need to run these units over as much as we can. There we go. There's one tank to deal with our three. Hopefully we can deal with that. Oh, we may have made a mistake there in attacking those units. But if we move over here very carefully, we should be... Actually, we just want to... Uh, there we go. We sort of have to fight our way down here, though. Fortunately, the Mammoth Tank is quite, quite capable of dealing with everything that's uh, in our way. We need to kill these units really quickly, and that unit especially. There we go. I think the last SAM site should be somewhere over on the other side of their base. And the other side of their base is... I hope you do not decide to... Uh, yep, goodbye. There you go, you just uh, head that way. I'm half tempted to sell this, to be honest. I'm very, very tempted. We might sell the repair facility. But then again, we could... Uh, what are you attacking? You're attacking that village, which is fine. That's absolutely fine. We could repair one of these tanks pretty much to full condition, and then send them over to go and see if we can find another SAM site. I think there's only one more to deal with, and as you can see, we do not have the firepower whatsoever to take care of any kind of... Um, 
any kind of attack from a... Uh, also, just uh, do that. There we go. It's actually quite damaged. Maybe repairing this might be a better idea, but we actually need all of these tanks as much as we can to uh, take care of everything here. All right. That is uh, one tank pretty much fully repaired, and we really don't have that much more money anymore. You can see now why I decided to sell the radar, because the map is small enough that it's really not yes, that useful whatsoever. Okay, we have uh, five medium Unit tanks, board. and one of them is in a Moving really, out. really bad way. Moving Let's out. see what's over here, Moving shall we? I think it's the route towards the final Moving SAM out. site, although I Moving could be out. completely and Moving totally out. mistaken. Let's just hope there are lots of tanks and not lots Moving of out. infantry units, because uh, we're good at dealing with tanks right yes. now. Oh, there are some yes. infantry Perfect. units. Fortunately, there are infantry yes. units that are Perfect. going to be yes. quite Perfect. capably dealt with. There we go. Moving not bad. Vehicle you know what I'm missing? I'm missing the Tiberium uh, harvesters and refineries. Basically, uh, making sure that we can uh, get loads and loads of money. But we're just going to have to do the best that we possibly can with what we have, which is really not that much. There's our... Uh, hello? We want to be very careful with our targeting here. And I mean very careful. We, there are things we want to attack and things we do not want to attack. That there, that harvester, is one of the things we do not want to attack. If we attack that harvester, we are pretty much doomed. There's a bridge here and another tank. We can deal with that tank. I also really want to save at this point because we are getting very close to a very dangerous point. A very dangerous point. A point where we could very much just lose. We need to find where that final SAM site is here. I know there's a second one. I just need to figure out where it is. It is on the outside of their base. And I need to make sure that we... Uh, uh oh, there it is. There it is. If we blow up these uh, missile troopers here, and then this missile trooper, and then we blow up this uh, SAM site, very carefully... Uh-oh. That's not good. Fortunately, we can attack it from here, which is very good. And now it has been destroyed. Now we can leave. And leaving here is very, very important because there is one more SAM site that we have yet to destroy. And we can use these grenadiers and these minigunners to do it. And we might as well keep the APC here, just in case something terribly bad happens. Also, uh, I have no idea why you took that route whatsoever, but it was a pretty terrible one. Oh, there's a trooper there. There's a trooper there we need to deal with. That was bad. We lost a lot of units there. Fortunately, we have enough units, I think, to take this out. I think, anyway. I think we do. Can you, uh, yep, you can shoot from there. I have no idea why you, uh, shot from further away. We could send the missile thing there, but I think we might have enough. Maybe. If we sell this, we could get a little more money that we could use to, uh, build some more grenadiers. And one of the grenades accidentally killed one of our units, which is unfortunate. I think that might be the last one, though. I think it's the last one. Also, I have no idea why we're not evacuating uh, Dr. Mobius using this APC we have here, as we were quite capable to, of getting these troops in, but then again, maybe this is all we managed to uh, sneak in when we were under constant attack. Also, it doesn't appear like they're intent on sending any more attacks against us, which is uh, very, very handy. All right. Where is that uh, helicopter? Here it comes! And with this helicopter, we can pretty much complete this mission. Hello? Which is very, very handy. Uh -huh. And I think now uh -huh. the mission is a success. Dr. Mobius has been saved. Mission accomplished. Why didn't you take that route to begin with? There were no SAM sites if you'd have just gone straight, like, south from the south of our base. Why didn't you do that before? Who knows? But either way, even though we lost 16 units, they lost an awful lot more. And that is the important thing. We don't have many credits left over, but that's okay. Mission 12 is a success. What about mission 13, though? Let's see what we have to do. There really aren't many more places that Nod can hide. At all. All right. We're going to be going this way, into here. What is our mission? This is what it's all about. 
We cornered Kane in his biochemical research laboratory. Fight your way to the lab and level it. Intelligence informs us that Kane's on site, so complete destruction is imperative. This ought to help. The boys at R&D have completed preliminary testing on the ion cannon, the next generation of strategic defense armaments. Its geosynchronous orbit gives it a target divergence factor of 8 to 1. It's an awesome weapon, the most powerful in our arsenal. You fought long and hard, Commander, and it's all come down to this. We're with you. Good luck. Mission, and now an objective. Both at the same time, eh? Missions and objectives? Whatever next. But when we come back, folks, we have the Ion Cannon and a Mammoth Tank at our disposal. It's a good thing that we saved Dr. Mobius, though. We can deal with that Tiberium problem right away. It's not like it's going to get terrible, eh? Right? It's going to get terrible, isn't it? But at least we'll get Kane now, right? Right? I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.